If you open up the Torah scroll and look at the opening word of this week's Torah reading, Vayikra, you'll see that the final letter, the Aleph, of that word is written much smaller than the letters of the rest of the word and the rest of the Torah. The rabbis interpreted this orthographical anomaly as a message of deep significance. Rabbi Jacob ben Asher, the Baal Haturim, explains that as Moses penned the account of his exchange with God, his humility was such that he squirmed at the thought of recording such an intimacy with the Creator. Instead of writing Vayikra, meaning he called out, Moses dropped the Aleph, leaving the word as Vayikar, meaning to happen upon, as if to say that God stumbled upon Moses by chance rather than selecting him for his merit. God, however, responded with the first autocorrect on historical record, demanding the Aleph be written Vayikra, insisting that Moses' greatness be recorded. Vayikra, written with a small Aleph, as is written in every Torah scroll since, is a compromise struck between God and Moses. Moses' alpha status remained, but only retained by way of codifying his abiding humility in the small Aleph. One small letter with a big lesson to teach, the alpha and the small Aleph, the balance between greatness and humility. A life well lived is not to be found in greatness or humility, but in the dialectic between the two, we shuttle back and forth from the moment of our birth to our final breath. As Rabbi Simcha Bunim famously taught, one must walk this world carrying a slip of paper in each pocket. On one we write, Bishfili nivar haolam, for my sake the world was created. On the other we write, Vanochi afar va'efer, I am but dust and ashes. We take out each slip of paper as necessary, reminding ourselves self-correcting ourselves whenever our posture leans excessively one way or the other. We are all, always, works in progress. See you in shul.